International Women's Day falls on the 8th of March every year. This year, we invited two female partners from Chrome Malaysia to share their secrets to leadership, business, and life. Hi, my name is Adria. Thanks for joining me today. Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Elvina Tick. I'm an audit partner in Chrome Malaysia. I've been with the firm for close to 20 years. Uh, my name is Shalina Jafar and I have been working with Chrome Malaysia for 13 years and two months. Mm -hmm. So what has your experience been like working at Chrome Malaysia for such a long time? Actually, I started off as an audit associate. Um, that was um, in year 2002. Um, while some firms would have been there and done that back then, Chrome was still growing. So which means more opportunities for me to grow along with the firm and be proud that I was actually part of the process. That's very impressive that you've come so far in your career, uh, starting out as an associate and now you're a partner. What is the secret to your success? I would say the secret to my success um, is to remember what I should be doing and to actually do it. Yeah, so in Crow, uh, I'm given the freedom, the freedom to learn and grow. Um, it is a workplace that makes me feel enthusiastic about taking on new challenges and offer the support that I need to turn those challenges into wins. The secret of my success uh, serving Crow Malaysia is the trust and confidence instilled in me. I have always been taught uh, to be independent in responding to every challenge and I have been trained uh, to always strive until I succeed. Right. So, how has Crow Malaysia empowered women, you know, such as yourself in the workplace? Crow Malaysia actually practices the principle that all its employees are equal, yeah, in terms of career progress, learning, and recognition for their efforts. Okay, this is regardless of their gender and race. Even I am a Muslim and a Malay here. I have always felt that Crow Malaysia was a harmonious family for me. I see. So, uh, what type of challenges have you faced as a woman in a leadership position? One of the greatest um, challenges is um, shouldering the responsibility it confers. Part of that responsibility is the responsibility to deal with those aspects of myself that can keep me from being an effective leader. Yeah, another challenge is coping between family, friends and work colleagues while encouraging them to be the best they can be while achieving goals, keeping peace, maintaining a sense of humor and not losing sight of who I am. That sounds like a lot on your plate, you know, being a mom and a professional. How do you balance everything? I actually divide my time, but not my attention. Um, I'm not just a mother, uh, not just a working professional, um, I'm also a wife and a daughter, right? So I'm, I'm each of these things and much more simultaneously. So I embrace that. I give myself a chance to thrive in every aspect. I always do my best, but I don't do everything perfectly at, as it is my real life, not a motion picture. Why do you think it is significant to have women in leadership positions such as yourself? Um, I think it's important that um, women's capabilities are recognized and acknowledged um, in the workplace. It inspires other women who may have faced um, stereotyping in the past to go after their ambitions or dreams. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Uh, so. Lastly, what's the one word of advice you would give to the next generation of female leaders who are trying to be successful in the workplace? Um, firstly, be interested in what you wish to do. Work hard and smart, be determined. While there will certainly be tough challenges along the way, don't ever give up on achieving your goals. For me, success is not measured by where you come from, but the determination and effort you sure to succeed. As one uh, motivational expert, Thomas Carly said, yeah, go as far as you can see. When you get there, you will be able to see further. I think that that is really great advice. Uh, thank you so much for your time and happy International Women's Day.